There you go. Getting a little tangled. Oh, get some red wasp out. You just stay there. All right. These. All right. Oh, hey, baby. Good morning, baby. How you been doing? How you been doing? Oh, hey. I didn't see you guys there. Sorry, just talking to my baby. Uh, welcome back to the Cheap and Easy. Today we are going to do the water pump on the Yukon. Because it's going to be like 20 degrees next week. And that is my winter ride. Uh, the charger is not... No, the charger is pretty much done. I am waiting on the Honda Pilot. The... Bearings I ordered for the tensioner pulley. They were supposed to send me two. They only sent me one. Contacted them and said, hey, I need my other one. Well, now they said they're out of all of them now. So they're going to refund me half my money. So now I got to go get another pulley. Pulley, yeah. Long story short, uh, I'm still waiting on parts. All right, let's get started. I'm getting aggravated. Oh, what am I going over here for? We got to open up the shop doors. Duh. Beautiful day outside today. Looks like it's about to rain any minute. We're going to try to get as much done as we can. Before it does rain. So, won't you come outside with me? Come hang out with me, my friends. All right, guys. Let's get this hood popped open. You can tell it's fall. All the leaves are falling. Put a battery tender on the old Yukon because I haven't driven it in so long the battery was dead. Oh, she's about fully charged now. Uh, I need to go. Probably let's uh let's go over here and set up our little stand. Yeah, set up. Put our tools on. Makes life a little easier. Um. And tools. Let's go get some tools. Boy, she, look at how dirty she is. Uh, she needs a bath. All right. Is this? So you got that tool set open already. Um, I think this is the one that's got everything in it. Let's grab this one. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Really helps the channel. If you don't mind hitting that like button, that really helps the channel, too. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Oh, yeah, the water pump's back here, guys. You didn't know they put the water pump on the back seat, did you? Uh-oh. Oh, no. She's locked. Son of a gun. Good thing I brought the keys. Which, which one is it? That one right there. Hit the old unlock button. And voila. Water pump. Look at that, it even comes with a new pulley, too. Gotta love eBay. I pretty much buy everything on eBay. 
I used to be one of them guys that bought only the name brand parts. And then the name brand parts started letting me down. And they give you the same damn warranty as a cheap part like this. So why would I waste my money on a name brand when uh, I can just get this when it's the same warranty? And it's going to last about the same. Okay. Enough ranting and raving. Got to get this put on. Oh, yeah. We got to go get the thermostat. Went to our local, uh, local auto zone. Got me a water pump. It's not a water pump. A thermostat. We got the old thermostat. What else do we need in here? Uh, may need that later. I think that's it for now. Oh. Need this big old adjustable wrench. Hopefully it fits. You'll see in a minute why. I better put these keys up before I uh, lose them. Or set it down in a spot where I wouldn't forget. And then guess what? I forget. There's the old Honda. She's still down. Um... Well, we can probably go ahead and put this uh, thermostat housing and stuff on. So, pretty cool. The uh, So, it's like $15 for a thermostat, right? And that's $19 for a thermostat and a new housing. Uh, that's a no-brainer. Oh, I guess we can't put this on until we get the bolts out of the old one. But anyhow, let it go in there. Hopefully it's the right one. See, it should be that way like that. Okay. So at least we don't have to clean the surface on that. That one's good to go. Now, when do you get the old water pump off? There's our gaskets. Uh oh, gaskets got a little, little vintage. I guess they'll straighten up when you torque her down. Yeah, they're all bent just a little. Guess that's why. I know, that's why you guys are out. That's why you buy the name brand shit. Well, guess what? Name brand shit would have been packaged the same and probably screwed up also. All right, we need to get a pan to catch our radiator fluid. That looks like a good pan. Throw that on the ground. Hopefully we get... Pretty much all of it. I'm uh, gonna get this air breather off. Um, I'm just kind of throwing you guys all over the place. Hey, I don't know what I'm doing. I never done a water pump on a 5.3. This is a new one for me too. I'm gonna have to put you guys right in the sun. Sorry. Oh, I need to get. I need to get me some gloves on. We need a five sixteenths, I believe. Lose the, loosen up our hose clamps. That'll be a five sixteenths or a, uh, I guess they call it a worm, worm, worm clamp. We'll loosen up our worm clamps, and so it'd be a five sixteenths or a eight millimeter, either one. I prefer American stuff, so I got a five sixteenths. See if we can get that off of there. Um, we got to unhook that somehow. Does that pop off? Screwdriver. See if I can pry that off of there. 
Alright. Get this off of there. This thing does not want to pop off. Dang. That dude was on there. So they shouldn't be that hard to yank off. Just so you know. Put my little gray clip back on. I'm just taking off the uh, Maso air sensor. Uh, get a little screwdriver, see if I can pry this boot a little bit. Persuade it to come off. Good grief. You're going to fight me too, aren't you? snorkel off of here. Alright. That was a lot of work for nothing. Let's see. I don't think I need to take this off. Looks like I got a little coolant leak right down here. Also, setup. That's the heater core. Yeah, I don't think I need to take the air breather completely out. I don't see anything in the way. Damn, mosquitoes are out. Wow. Huh, the screw's almost out of here. That's odd. I've never taken any of this off. I think this is a 10 millimeter. Yep. Give me a little 10 millimeter. Take it, do it off of there. I need to clean my throttle body. She's a little dirty. Kind of one of them deals. If I start cleaning the throttle body, then may open up a can of worms, and then I end up having to change the whole damn throttle body. I've had that happen. Let me just leave her alone. Let's get the water pump done. Make sure we don't keep losing antifreeze. I mean, I can see water coming out of the water pump, but that doesn't mean I'm. Still don't have a head gasket problem. Hoping I don't. Got a 10 up here. Actually, I don't need to take that off either. That can stay on there. Okay. We can take... So there should be some plastic clips down here. We'll pop these off. I don't have the fancy tool to pop them off. I'm just taking a screwdriver and prying them up. Just pry them up and they'll pop out. There should be another one over here. So there should be two on this side, two on the other side. If I can get my little screwdriver in there. Try not to, you know, miss and puncture the... Uh-oh. That ain't good. Why do I have water? It's wet. It's a little wet right here on my radiator. Hmm. Hope I don't have a bad radiator. Anyway, try to be careful not to poke a hole in it, but I may already have a hole in it. That's what's bad when you get to working on stuff that's high mileage like this. You're going to end up 
tearing into it and realize you need a lot more than what you intended to fix. But I guess we can tear this down, take a look at everything really good once we get all this crap out of the way. Uh, we can make a decision. Don't drop on the ground. up. Wow, well, you're really on there too. Okay, pop off of there. Wiggle that out of there. Get that top shroud off. Now where are we at? All right, we're down to the fan. Uh, we can go ahead and start draining our, get that pan underneath there. We try to catch all that fluid. I'm just going to take the hose off of the uh, lower radiator hose. Not radiator hose. Um, actually, you know what? Let's get this fan out of the way. This will have more room. Let's see if this adjustable wrench will fit on there. Sure hoping it will. Cannot see right, which way is which. Tightening is towards me. Okay. With the belt and stuff still on, see if we can shock it. And did it do anything? I think it did. I think we're in good shape. I don't know if I told you, but the mosquitoes are out and they're eating me alive again. Mosquitoes have been really bad this year. I don't know why. I guess maybe all the rain we had. Alright, so there's our fan clutch off. Alright. Belt won't, don't look too bad. Um, so let's get our belt off. Do I have a diagram on here? Yeah. Should. Yep. I got a belt diagram right here. Okay. 15 will work. Let's see which way do we go up or down. All right. You're going to push down with it. I can just use this other wrench. Push it down. Take it off of there like that. Let's pull the linear tensioner off. And we'll get our belt out of the way. All right, you little sucker, get off of there. All right. Pliers. Or chan locks. Chan locks. Let's get this hose off here now. Really don't want to get underneath the cord. Let's try to do everything. You know what? How are we doing that? Let's just take the thermostat off, guys. Come on. Use your brain. Okay. 10 millimeter. Well, yeah. Duh. I'm just taking the thermostat off or the housing off. And then we can just twist twist that off of there a little easier. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Dinner time. I guess I can move you guys in a little closer. I'm not a very good cameraman. 
I wish I had a camera, man. That would be nice. All right. Well, this thermostat's been changed before. Somebody's been in there. It's got a gasket sealing on it, which I don't know why they did that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put gasket sealing on something like that. All right, there we go. Make sure you got your drain pan underneath there, catching it all. You don't have a big old mess. There's nothing wrong with the thermostat. But I figure if I'm tearing all this apart, might as well go ahead and do it. So it looks the same. Let's get this upper hose off of here. Oh, oh, is that what that? No way. No way. These clamps have a clip on them. For real? I'm going to try it. Oh, come on. Ah. I think these clamps will latch on themselves if you do it right. Quit moving on me. Gotta get your pliers on the right side. There we go. Oh, almost. Nope. Doesn't want to quite latch. It's like real close. Sure, you gotta have a special tool for it. Oh. There it is. Over there. I'd watch your fingers though, but it just latched on there. I had never seen something like that. I'm sure the LS guys were like, oh, I'm all the mad asses you got that. You're just dumb. Well, you're probably right. You're probably right. But hey, that's pretty neat. Alright, I'm going to try to get this. I guess we could pull the water pump off and then wiggle it out here. We can do that. Why couldn't we? We can do anything. We put our minds to it. All right, we need to get our tensioner off of here. I wonder what size that is. And then I went and got my uh, oh shit bar. To break them loose. I don't know what you really call this. So uh, there's a saying for it. I just can't think of it right now. Brain did. Anyway, we're gonna put it on there. I'm gonna stick it on there. Breaker loose. Breaker bar extension. And there's three of them. Three bolts. I think. Yep. I can feel it. All right, break them dudes loose. You want, you want to put your bar right here. That way you forget when you go to start it up. And you'll hear a clinging and popping and weird noises. And you'll be like, what is that noise? Oh, yeah. I could left that in there. These damn mosquitoes would just die already. Really makes it unpleasant out here when they're biting the crap out of you. It's really beautiful outside too, though. 
kind of over ding ding sorry a little overcast so I got kind of a cool breeze going on right now pretty awesome this is the weather I can spend all day outside love it mosquito go away oh you're dying killed him he's dead but I'm sure his friends will show up yep there's his friend flying around you land on me you're gonna die too I'm hoping hoping next week I'll be able to go get the milk truck has been so dang busy with well you can see all these damn cars broke down got to get fixed <sighs> that's a just never ending never ending but we love it that's me singing uh, I used to be able to sing really well until my Terrible car accident, and I never been able to go to American Idol. Damn it! No, just joking. Just joking. Come on, get on there, get on there. Oh, you're so close. Oh, you mother! Sorry, suck of shit. Trying to trying to get it where it clips on there. And I just can't quite do it. There's got to be a special tool to make to make that latch on there. But a pair of chain locks is just not doing it for me. I'm going to have to quit messing with it and just get it off there. Oh, 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 it's almost there. Oh, down there. Yeah. Oh, well, it popped off. All right, well, we tried. We tried, guys. I'm tired of messing with it. All right. Screwdriver. Scalpel. We're losing them. We're losing them. Not afraid to pull on this because it's plastic and it already has some. Doesn't look that healthy. None of this shit looks healthy. Eyeball. Good grief. Oh, that's what happened. Yep, I knew it. It broke. Had a feeling. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. More parts to buy. Why did they put plastic down there? See, it already had kind of a uh, wet area here, so I'm assuming it must have already been leaking. So, we'll probably have to go buy us a tea. I don't even know. I don't even know where you find this shit. Not to look online, but I may have to rig up a tea or something out of some galvanized pipe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's get the water pump on at least, I guess. Uh, so I gotta get this one off. See, I those those top hoses, they were plastic, they broke. I cut all that damn plastic off and went straight to the metal and then hose clamped the shit. Like they did in the olden days. Why do you have to have a plastic push in piece of crap that breaks with heat and age? When the old school always works, clamp it. I've had those clamps on there for probably eight years now. I mean, it was supposed to be temporary until I found the right push-in fittings. But you know what? I'm leaving them alone. So I'm probably going to have to do the same thing down here. Uh, excuse me. Well, 
had a feeling that was going to happen. It didn't look that great. But no big deal. We'll fix it. We'll get her fixed. Like I said, it wasn't looking that great anyway. Huh. What kind of clamp system is that? Look at this plastic piece of shit. Plastic and plastic, and then a plastic clamp holding onto a rubber hose. <sighs> Junk. Junk, pure junk. Don't get it. But, I mean, I guess it's it's done its purpose. I mean, I've like I said, I got two hundred sixty thousand miles on her. She's still running. May not be running much longer if shit keeps breaking on it. I may be just selling the motor and trainee to. If somebody wants to put it in an old car, get more money out of the damn motor than the actual whole car. <laughs> Everybody loves them LSs. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the LSs too, but I'm still, I still like the old school motors. Uh, let's see if I can turn that hose. Oh, that hose is not wanting to move. <laughs> this hose is actually long enough. I think we could probably cut it. I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to keep it all together. If all possible. I still can't believe that stupid hose. That's what happens. Anytime you work on your own stuff, the impossible happens. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. You're off there. <laughs> Now we're down to the water pump. We still haven't got this damn thing off either. Let's see if it, uh, if I can twist it a little bit. There we go. Hi, Wien. All right. We are down to the water pump, guys. Yay. Aren't you guys excited? What? what do you mean you guys ain't excited? Uh, I need a little bit more excitement out of you guys. Come on. Is this all 10 millimeter? They look small. Didn't I have a 10 millimeter out here? No, that's a 15. Um, 10 millimeter, it's right there, I never got it out, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Alright, so how many screws or bolts are there? Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, so six, maybe? Yeah. We're going to look at this water pump, too. Really make sure that it is bad. One. And, and the water's not coming from somewhere else. It looked like it was coming from the water pump last time I was underneath it. I don't even remember why I was underneath it. I was underneath it for some reason. Well, I guess that's what I'll be doing tonight. Looking up, see if I can find a replacement. Maybe I'll just get this whole setup 
hose and all, which would be pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, guys. But what if it doesn't? Why am I doing this? I have an impact. All right, guys. Got my old impact. Oh, yeah. A lot easier. Guess I probably should have paid attention to make sure these are all the same length. You know, some water pumps are all different. Three on this side, three on this side. They are all the same size, guys. They're same length. Ta-da! Oh, that's right. You don't want to pour. You want to pour radiator fluid all over your DeWalt. Makes it run better. All right. There's our water pump. Spill it everywhere. This is. This is where I was seeing it leaking. May have been leaking right here, too. Yeah, see how it's all kind of oily here? Oh. I'm hoping it was bad. We're changing it anyway. Parts tonight to fix this. Over here, this broken hose. And uh, so now we'll just get all these old, get the old gasket and stuff off. So I'll basically scrape this all nice and clean. Get it all nice and pretty. And then uh, we'll stick the new water pump on. I got to get the torque specs and figure out how much you're supposed to torque this. And... Uh, We'll get her back together. Wanted to show you guys this real quick. This is another reason why I'm pretty sure the water pump was bad and leaking. See all the grease and gum and nastiness? But look how clean it is right here. That's pretty much all that hot water from the radiator or water pump dripping, keeping this clean. So I think that's a pretty good sign that my water pump's been leaking. That's really good because... Now I'm thinking that maybe the motor's still good. All right. Peace out. I was hoping to knock that out today, but we kind of ran into a problem. Well, like I said, that's what happens when you have 260,000 miles. I can't get mad at it. I mean, I really haven't done much to it. Uh, rebuilt the transmission or a buddy of mine rebuilt the transmission i pulled it out he rebuilt it i put it back in that's pretty much all i've done to it man your basic tune-ups and your brakes pretty much it and just been driving it so anyway enough rambling i'm gonna clean up and call it a night thanks for watching everyone Beep, 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 beep. This just in. We have just now learned that we had to replace the radiator. As closer inspection with a flashlight uh, and my eyeballs, I noticed a crack in the radiator. That's why it's a little wet right there. Wah, wah, wah. Well, Guess we got to change the radiator out now. Notice that when I was putting the water pump on. And uh, just happened to look over here like this. And I was like, what? And uh, mother. Anyway, you know all the bad words I just said. <sighs> it's always something. I got to make me a shirt. I got to have a shirt made. And it just says, always something. Ah. Uh. All right. Peace out again.